Welcome back to Studio 701. Now, we both have young kids, and sometimes you wonder if they're meeting the milestones that they should. Luckily, there are some resources for parents to utilize, and they're free. Here's more information about BSEP. Okay, well, thank you guys for talking with me on Zoom, Val and Karen, and we are going to talk about BSEP. Um, first of all, Val, I love your shirt. That is so cute. Um, so can you guys just explain what is BSEP? Not everyone knows what it is. Sure, yeah, I can go ahead and start with that one. So BSEP is an acronym for Bismarck Early Childhood Education Program. Um, we are under the Bismarck Public Schools umbrella, and we have a couple of different programs. We have a pre-K program, and we also also have a home visiting program and then they're decorated up into different little um, sub programs if you will so we serve basically zero to possibly six year olds in the bismarck area as well as many counties um, through our home visiting programs you know how aware do you think the general population is to the services that you offer and what you do yeah, that's a great question, Amber, because that's exactly why we're reaching out to KX to help us with, with getting the information out to, to our families in our region. We actually um, are able to serve many counties. We serve McLean, Sheridan, Oliver, Mercer, Grant, Emmons, Kidder, Burley, and Morton counties. And we don't think a lot of people know about us. We're our best kept secret. We provide free services. Um, we are doing virtual services. We're doing over the phone services. Um, we have an early intervention program that provides um, really an opportunity to partner with families to help support them with their child to become successful. And we concentrate in the areas of language, motor concerns, self-help, um, social emotional concerns, and cognition concerns. But then we also have our Right Track program that serves that same age, and they really just partner with the families to help with completing some developmental screenings and just basically having the parents as a go-to to touch base with them. We here at BSEP honor the fact that parents are a child's first and most important teacher, but everybody needs help every once in a while or they might have some concerns. And so both those programs, Right Track and Early Intervention, would love the opportunity to, to reach out to some more of our families in those counties. So what is an ECSE teacher and what do they do? So our background is early childhood special ed. So what that kind of means is just that we have an overall knowledge of all areas of development. We typically see those kids who have a delay in more than one area. Um, another common kiddo that we take are the ones that the, par the parents have a lot of questions on behaviors or sleep, um, if they have questions on what to work on with their kid before they turn three and are transitioning out of early intervention. So we just kind of help a lot with giving them the strategies to use to kind of help with all areas of development. You know, yes. if a parent is watching this right now and thinking, hmm, I should really be looking into this, what do you want them to know about your services? Well, I think one of the biggest things is that um, anybody can refer. Um, it could be grandma, it could be an aunt and uncle, it could be a physician. And whether or not um, you're not sure if it's the right thing to refer, it's not going to hurt for a phone call to explore. Um, even if the services aren't needed to further dig into a concern, um, maybe it's just more just as a touch base. We're not here to compete with other um, pediatricians or other therapy partners in our region and around the region. We're really here to support the families and help them with that in-home method. And so we're really working in collaboration with them. And so I think that in, is definitely something that needs to be shared then. And also it's free. There's, there's no gimmick, there's nothing to it. We're here to support and really just be there for the children and for the families. So heading into the holidays, you know, we're talking about gifts. Um, you guys have come up with some gift ideas that we would like to go over, which is so fantastic. Um, what, what did you come up with some things for parents to consider for gift ideas? So when we kind of talk about toys and early intervention, we really like the toys that don't make noise. Because if you think about, if you open up a barn door and it says moo, the kid isn't motivated to make that cow sound when, the, when they take the cow out of the barn. So we really like those ones that the kid and the parents can really focus on making those sounds and practicing those words together versus on the toy. So some of the things that we really like for 
birth to one would be anything from the shape sorters. We love black and white books because it's easier for those kids to see. Um, the ovals are really good because they can work on using both their hands together. It's just easier to kind of hold all together um, using some of those rattles. And then four years, kind of one through three, there's a lot that you can do with that, whether it's you're playing with blocks and working on those fine motor skills, you're coloring, you're using lacing beads. For gross motor, I mean, it's anything from doing a pop-up tunnel that they can crawl through to playing with a basketball hoop, ride on toys. When it comes to language, you can incorporate language into any toy that you're using. So one of my favorite things to do with families is because most kids are super busy at this age is trying to incorporate a lot of that movement with all of the toys that they're doing. So say they're playing with bowling pins, they can put stickers on the bottom of that. And when they knock it over, you say, oh, you found the cow or you found the ball. So it's just trying to incorporate language into all of these areas and all of these toys. Now, you should know anyone can refer someone. You just need to call 701-328-8985. And we were just talking about, do you use the voices? You know, they were talking about using language when you're playing. So if you're playing Hungry, Hungry Hippo, 